Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Calculus Academy. For all these times, our videos are based on surveying chapter. So the related theories as well as in between we were discussing most important MCQs which are previous uh, civil engineering objective questions as well as expected questions also we were discussing here. Now we are going to implement all those applications in the problematic basis that is calculation of the correction, SAG, absolute, temperature etc. we are going to do here. So please everybody watch each and every video and watch all the videos till the end. Because it is necessary that because in each and every part of those I am giving some tips for or some important points uh, might be losing if you miss those. That is why I am saying just watch all the videos till the end. And please like my channel and subscribe it. And if you are thinking that this channel is useful to anybody else, please do share with them also. So let's watch the balance session of the problem. So here comes our problem of 48. This is very, 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 really very, very important question that is related with the SAG correction. Okay. So what is our SAG correction equation? You remember? So those who didn't watch the video of tape correction equations, please go back and just watch it. So our SAG correction equation is equal to WL, the whole square into L, by 24 n square p square that is we said that it is w l cube by 24 n square p square we can write so before substituting we can write each value for your better understanding only so they have said that four supports so obviously i said whenever support value is given otherwise they will give the n value directly if a support value is given n will be always support minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 l value is what l value already given as it is 30 you can directly substitute it 30 meter then p value p is what given the pull of 80 newton actually 80 newton we want the answer in what kilogram every time these answers uh, you, we should want P in kilogram. So we will divide this with 9.81. So we got the answer 80 divided by 9.81 kilogram. Now only one is remaining is W. It is very very important. W we want in, we want in kilogram per meter. Actually what is given here? It is given 77 kilo newton per meter cube. Okay, so it is given as 77 kilo newton. So first, how we will make it into kilogram? Newton heto we can divide by 9.81 and we can make it as kilogram. But they have given us kilo newton. So we will make it as newton by multiplying into 10 raised to 3. So it became newton. Okay, clearly watched. Those who have any doubt, please rewatch the video so you, it will be clear for you. So 77 multiplied by 10 raised to 3, it became what? It became newton so this newton we can divide by 9.81 so this became in what this much thing it became in kilogram now we want per meter actually per meter cube is given we want only per meter so what we have to do we have to multiply by a co uh, by a uh, by an area or by a cross section we have to multiply by meter square we have to multiply because divided by meter cube is there we have to multiply by what we have to multiply a cross section which is meter square but here they have given it in mm square so we have to make it into meter square then only we have to multiply so how we can do that multiplied by 8 is the mm square so mm when you convert it will be 10 raised to minus 3 meter. So mm square when you convert it will be 10 raised to minus 6. So it became what in 
meter so this became this became in meter so this is in kilogram so this total quantity became in kilogram per meter now we can substitute the value so 77 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 9.81 multiplied by 8 into 10 raised to minus 6 so this is the w value into what is l l is 30 q we don't want to do anything further for uh, l because l should be in meter only divided by 24 into 3 square into 80 by 9.81 the whole square so this is very important question in gate examination as well as ies examination please understand this rewatch the video and do this problem so by calculator only we can do this value so by doing the calculator i have already done this we will get the answer 0 0.007411 but we have studied that sac correction is always what is always negative sac correction is always and always a negative value so this is the answer of sac correction so sac correction is equal to we have to write uh, we can write like this sac correction is minus 0 0.007411 thank you everyone thank you for watching all the videos and supporting me so if you like the session please do like the channel as well as if you have some suggestion for my improvement please do suggest it on the comment box nearby and if you're watching my channel for the first time please do subscribe it and watch the video till the end please do click the bell icon nearby so that you will get all the notifications of the videos and you can analyze all those uh, all those uh, whether it is important or not so thank you everyone have a nice day